Welcome back to Synthesis of Alcohol method number five. And we have reactants on the screen. So let me put the tip at the bottom. Whenever you see this MGBR, okay, that's a clear indication you're dealing with a Grignard rea reaction. Okay, means if you're starting with a ketone, which is what this is, you're going to end up with a tertiary alcohol. And um, this is exactly the same exact reaction we learned uh, when we were dealing with applications of aldehydes and ketones in the aldehydes and ketones chapter. So this does not disturb this double bond. It only attracts the double bond O, right? So what's going to be our intermediate this is the intermediate so the double bond stays undisturbed basically the o gets attached itself to the mgbr and then whatever that's left over and this is the ch2 ch3 gets attached and the ch3 that's already there stays there and then the h3o plus acts on and then all you're going to be left with this OH, CH2, CH3, and then this. So this is a tertiary alcohol, right? So a ketone, when go through a Grignard reaction, would produce a tertiary alcohol, right? While we're on this, I'm going to just finish up number six on the same video because they are related in some ways and not related in some ways. So that's number six. Exact same reagents, but the reactant itself is slightly different. Here we have an aldehyde. And I'm gonna load my tip as well. Again, when you see this MGBR, you know you're dealing with a Grignard reaction, okay? And if it's an aldehyde, you are going to end up with a secondary alcohol, and I'm gonna write the intermediate, as I said. This does not act on the double bond itself, but it only acts on a carbon containing the double bond O. The O itself gets itself attached to the MGPR. And the remaining, please don't write it as CH3CH2, that's wrong, because carbon cannot have pi bonds. Write it through the CH2CH3, and then you got your hydrogen plus. Now you got your add your H3O plus, which means you're going to end up with alcohol. So, there we go. That's a secondary alcohol. So, if you start with an aldehyde and you do a Grignard reaction, you will get a secondary alcohol. And if you um, start with a ketone and you do a Grignard reaction, you end up with a tertiary alcohol. And I have put the tip there so you can remember it. All right, so stay tuned for the last video on the synthesis of alcohols.